Just waiting for some more people to come on. <clears throat> See if this thing works. Might scare my kid. Oh, it works. I might need some more batteries here soon. All right, here is the update. Friday. We have been doing this for roughly about five days. This room is up to almost 150,000 people that are ready to go to Freedom Square and then head over to the Capitol to talk about everything that is happening in healthcare pertaining to our mission statement. And I'm going to get to that in just a moment. I want to make sure that we are fully understanding that this is nurses are putting on this rally. We have nurses. We have, this is about nursing. This isn't about medical doctors. We can, our medical doctor friends can join, but this is nurses that are putting on this rally. So I hope you guys are going to enjoy that because this is about you, us as nurses, and it's about time for us to join together and make change. So I've updated the website. I don't know who, who out there, who out there has seen the updated website. I would like to see, matter of fact, let me look at this chat. I want to see right now. Oh, you like my megaphone? What? It's going to be so exciting. I'm going to be so loud. I hope you guys can keep up with me. So, let's see. I'm looking at some of the comments here. Pretty exciting stuff. Yes, Friday night. We are home. We are working on the website. I hope you guys love it. You get to see who this Veronica, this beautiful Veronica is. She is the founder of this march. And we are the ones, Nurses Against Violence, are pushing this forward and making sure that people also know about violence in healthcare, which, which affects every single one of us. So, hey, Montana, woo, Montana, Montana. Listen, we are breaking every barrier here. We are really making things happen and it's because of you. Each and every one of you is making this happen. This isn't about Dr. Sandy. This isn't about Veronica. This isn't about our whole team of people that are backing us. Jessica, Nurse Jessica Seitz. We have Kelly England with Nurses with Cards. We have the people with Nurses with Cards that haven't even really, they don't really know about us yet because we're going to make a special announcement, so shh, don't tell nobody. We have Avalon, the virtual assistants that are helping with some of the graphics that we have. Um, we have Nurses Takes DC which if you haven't heard, yesterday they donated $6,000 with their worth of equipment to help us, a stage, a podium, and sound equipment. We are going to be so loud. It is going to be the best ever. The best, the most exhilarating time that you'll ever have. Hey, North Carolina. So, here it goes. Everybody, are you ready? I want to see where everybody's at in the, in the feed. I want to see how fast this thing can go. Where is everybody from? I want to see it right now. Everybody, are you from Florida? Are you, do I see some of my Florida people in there? Come on, come on, Florida, 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 Florida. Nebraska, welcome. Let's see how many people in there. We got Georgia. Georgia is really posting a lot. We got Illinois, we've got Nebraska, we've got Ohio, Ohio, we've got Austin, Texas, we got some rowdy Texans down there. We also have some Arizona people that are ready. Oh, Nurse Jessica Seitz, Palm Harbor, you're right around the corner, New Jersey. So happy we got Florida. I want to see all of my crazy Florida people. I want everybody there because we're going to be louder than every state that's there. I'm just saying. All right, so let's see. How many people? Come on, let me see. Tampa, Florida, Denise. Wow, that's awesome. Okay, so, but we also have people in Virginia and Washington, D.C., right? We need some of them. They're right around the corner. Texas. 
We don't see any, I haven't seen any Oregon nurses have Missouri, Florida again. How funny. So listen, this is a movement. This is you. This is about you. This is about us. This is about our profession. There's no egos. This is about what we're doing. Now we're getting a lot of stuff. You know, we posted something in there about the mask mandate and stuff like that. So guys, we're only five in, five days into this. We are doing a very good job. We have a team of folks. I want you to hear, I want you to know who they are. When you get on our webpage, you'll see Miss Veronica Marshall. You'll see a little bit about her. You'll see a little bit about myself. Um, our team, we have Justin Riney. He's, he's our team lead for planning. We have, well, we have myself working in violence and healthcare, as well as we have some people with possibly some nurses associations that might come on. Um, we got lots of people that want to help. Lots of people that want to help. And if I have not gotten to you yet, I apologize. Hey, California, Virginia. Hey, Nebraska, New Jersey, California, welcome, Arkansas. So we have um, we have Nina Vasquez, and she is Nurse Nina on TikTok. I don't know if you've seen her. Then we have um, on staffing ratios, we have Amber. She's a nurse practitioner, and uh, she's our team lead for that, as well as also Doris Carroll and Kathy Stokes from Nurses with Cards that are helping with our staffing ratios, help us nail that down. And then for social media, we have Jennifer Sanders, uh, Alexandra Barnes, and Nurse Jessica Seitz. And we also have for accommodations, we have the awesome Michael Boulder, which is working very hard on getting all these uh, links to me and I'm uploading them. So I thank you for your patience. In regards to Stella, can you please stop that? Ugh, Stella. Anyway, so she has permanent RBF, just so you know. She's so cute. She's an English bulldog. So I want you to please give a shout out to them and, you know, thank them for their hard work because we are just busting tail in the back end. And we want to bring more people. We, would, we just want to have a solid ground. So when we have people come in, we know where we're going to have everybody at. So here's the thing. Yes. Planning is important, but we're going to really need also help with cleanup, okay? All of us are cleaning up. We're going to need help, so much help. So please, and if you have any expertise or anything like that, let us know. It is very important that we go over our mission. Very important. So I'm going to read it again. Three points, okay? So we have... Our goal is to focus in the unification of every nurse across every healthcare setting to produce significant reform in our healthcare systems. Our main focus, safe staffing ratios for all healthcare workers nationally, real protection follow through on federal and state level on a federal and state level for violence against healthcare workers, sorry I could read. And fair and realistic wages, including standing against any proposed cap to nursing pay. So what does that mean? Does that mean that you can't, you know, have your whatever your sign is going to be at the rally? No. This is what our mission statement is. This is what we're focusing on on our, on our uh, movement, okay? This is the three areas we're mainly focusing on. And then we're going to be taking this. After this, we're going to be going to the cap. Uh, we're going to be going to Congress. This is our next goal after this. So this can't just stop here. This isn't about just the march. This is about us, Nightingale's birthday, Nurses Week. My God, come on. This is our time. It wasn't 2020. So, again, our main focus, safe staffing ratios for all healthcare workers nationally, real protection and follow through on a federal and state level for violence against healthcare workers. This means when you get, you know, these people that come through, right? And even even family members, they punch, they kick, they spit, they stalk you. There's even nurses that have even been killed by these kind of folks that just want to be violent. So, 
it's not necessarily a psych issue. It's just somebody that's just angry that wants to take it out on somebody that can control themselves. If they can't, then, you know, that's for the judge to decide. You still have to report it, right? So our purpose statement, and we had somebody, Cody is the one that helped us with this, and he's going to be coming on board with us soon. He's working, of course. Um, you know, we all got to work. Um, the, uh, the Million Nurse March is a peaceful rally to bring awareness, unity, and support to the nursing profession in the name of reform for the safety of our patients and ourselves. This march will be to demonstrate our government to our government that we feel unsupported by facilities and health systems that we have that that have not done enough to train, prepare new nursing professionals as well as implement policies and procedures to retain current staff. That includes the protections, correct? Um, we would like to bring our ideas and to prevent violence, promote and build a non-punitive reporting system to protect our halls and workers from attacks, which include helping to pass laws for uh, safe staffing ratios. It is our goal to raise our collective voice in, in a peaceful manner to insist upon reform that increases safety for our patients and, and their families in the form of safe patient ratios demand an immediate institution of no tolerance policies across the nation for violence towards healthcare workers and realistic and appropriate wages for healthcare workers across the board. We believe that if nurses are paid realistically and fairly, then staff will stay. Sa uh, safe ratios can be facilitated and violence discouraged by simply the presence of a greater number of nurses remaining at the bedside. As we also know that um, we also aim to bring awareness to the ways that nurses have been crippled in their abilities to safely care for patients, uh, increase positive health outcomes, and assist patients in reaching their goals. Awareness to the emotional and mental anguish and trauma that nurses have experienced because we've been forced to endure the impossible and unrealistic expectations we will that will be brought to light. We want a million nurses to march onto D.C to lift our voices and be heard as advocates for our patients and also ourselves. So we also all have to think about this. These kind of things don't just affect us. They affect our family members. They affect marriages. They affect everything about us, our epigenetics. It can change your DNA. We have to be very careful of what we're doing and what we surround ourselves with. So guys, let's just have fun with this rally. We're going to be coming on again probably, if not tomorrow, we're going to come on on Monday just to give us a little bit of an extra break. And we are going to have legislation letters that are going to be coming up and also uh, take action now. I believe we're going to have some, some things out there um, that are going to be very helpful for you to just submit to your Congress and your representatives. We're working on all of this stuff. Again, this has gotten really hot in like five days and this team of professionals that I am proud to call my nursing colleagues have really stepped out and just said, you know what, whatever it takes, that's the nursing that I know. That is the nurses, the nursing. I have never seen such professionalism within our leadership team. It is unbelievable. I wanna let you know something. It's a little secret. Well, it's not a secret. I love nursing. I don't know if you could tell. I've been in nursing for a very long time, since I was 16 years old. I've grown up in nursing, seen the shift. And I know Justin has seen the shift as well. He's been in for a very long time. A lot of us have been in for a very long time and seen how horrible it has gotten in a short period of time. I would love if you're working and just kind of tuning in and hearing what I'm talking about or you're going to work the next day and you have a new nurse on the floor, take them under your wing. They might be cocky. They might be showing some sort of self-defense like, you know, a little defensive behavior or a little cockiness. See through it because I'm going to tell you it's a self-defense self mechanism because they have been thrown out there. Please. Let's take care of our new nurses out there. Let's take care of our CNAs. Let's take care of these students. Because without them, the future of nursing 
is going to get worse. We have to take care of each other. All right, I'm going to look back and I want to see who's, we got Maryland now. We got Maryland. So I want to thank you very much for joining us tonight. I don't know if I touched on everything. I think I have. I like to go back in a little bit later to see if I've touched on everything. So I haven't gotten any messages yet. So I'm hoping I did a good job. Yes. You know, over 30 years ago, when I was doing my doctoral project, Preventing Patient on Nurse Violence Through Education, um, I was getting articles that were 30 years old saying that nurses eat their young. It's a smorgasbord right now. Everybody's eating each other. Nobody's, just, nobody's getting away, right? We can do better. We are better. So with that being said, hey, wow, Idaho, Kansas, we got Lisa from Florida, California. Okay, so what I am going to ask of you, and this is very important, and I appreciate I'm starting to see a nice shift in the group where everybody is starting to reach out and help each other understand where they're staying, what they're doing, and stuff like that. We're going to not have as many, uh, where is my Georgia at posts. We're going to do that in these feeds, okay? So if people want to get together, we might let one or two through, but it's we have 300 and some in the back. We still have to feed through vaccine mandates and stuff like that. Guys, again, we're working on three areas. I'm going to go over this one more time. Not one more time. I'm going to keep doing it. Safe staffing ratios for all healthcare workers nationally, real protection and follow through on a federal and state level for violence against healthcare workers, fair and realistic wages including standing against any proposed cap to nursing pay all right so that's our three focus areas if you want us to talk about mandates and you're getting mad at us you do you all right if you want to do something about vaccines while we're there i don't care none of us care we're not policing you this is what we're doing and you're welcome to come. We've got a permit. You can have your right to what you want to say. And we are not stopping you. How about that? Just as a peaceful march. So guys, let's lift our voices and each other. And let's make this happen. We are making it happen. I'm re rechanging what I'm saying. We are making this happen. It is happening. And I'm so excited. And I can't wait to meet you all. I hope I can meet as many people as I can when I'm there. So have a wonderful weekend. If I don't see you tomorrow, we will reconvene for sure on Monday. I think we all need a little bit of a break. Can we have a break? Let me see. Can we have permission to have a break? <laughs> all right. So we're going to take about a day off. Hey, Mandy, keep going. Ooh, nursing school during the pandemic. Bless you. All right. All right, Washington, we're out. You guys have a great weekend, and we'll see you again on Monday, and we will do and talk about so much more coming up. Thank you so much, and have a fantastic weekend. Bye, y'all.